Well, hello there. New Mind Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll show you render settings for my projects. Today we are working with this uh, urban contemporary house and the shot we're looking for is a cloudy, uh, rainy day shot. So let's start by uh, creating our base render. So we have uh, something to, to compare it to and straight away we'll make a copy of the same thing where we'll start applying our effects. Uh, we'll choose uh, one of the presets from Lumia 9 called Overcast, which will uh, very quickly select the majority of the, of the effects we'll need today. I'm going to add two more in the weather a tab called Real Skies. And one more from the same category uh, called precipitation. So uh, let's start straight away with uh, with the rain, as you can see in here in the picture. I'm going to move the precipitation phase uh, towards the end, somewhere around here. I still want uh, the water here on the pavement, as you can see, kind of uh, large puddles. But I want uh, very little of the of the particles or raindrops. So I'm gonna move it almost all the way down and also the particle size somewhere in here. So just the tiny uh, dots in the picture. Uh, block by plants, that's uh, how much water uh, will be covered or uh, will be blocked by plants or uh, other objects in your, uh, in your render. So we're gonna leave it over there as, uh, as we know that the rain is over. So we'll, we are done for now with the precipitation. Moving on to a real skies, we'll change that. We'll choose uh, overcast uh, sky. Let's choose the one in the middle. And as you can see, it is not very clearly visible. So uh, let's adjust that. We're gonna bring the, the overall brightness almost all the way up and the brightness down somewhere around here. As you can see, we are getting a little more contrast on, on the sky. Moving on to the next uh, effect called fog. Uh, fog density, we're gonna bring it down just a little bit to make the, the sky a little more visible. Somewhere around there, so we have uh, some nice contours uh, on the sky. Uh, the fall off is lighter just the just a little bit up. So we move basically the, the fog a little too, more towards the ground and the brightness down just a bit. Okay, so we're done with the fog. As you can see, uh, our next effect called sky and clouds is automatic, automatically disabled whenever you use a real skies. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, sun, we're gonna keep it as it is. Uh, as you can see uh, from the preset, the overcast preset, the sun brightness is moved all the way uh, down. So let's uh, jump onto a sharpening effect. We're gonna bring the uh, intensity just a little bit up just to sharpen up the image, not too much, just to keep it rea realistic. Exposure, this is quite important. We need to bring it up somewhere around here. We'll see if we need to come back to it or not later on. For now, uh, we leave it where it is. Uh, color correction, also quite important. I'm gonna bring the temperature down just a little bit towards the blue, uh, blue spectrum. Uh, same thing with the tint, a tiny bit. Uh, we're gonna bring the brightness up in here as well. Somewhere around here and the contrast needs to go down because during the cloudy, uh, cloudy days we do not have very strong shadows. Uh, everything is very soft because the light is very diffused so the contrast we need to lower as well. Next up, uh, reflections. I'm gonna choose a couple of reflective surfaces that we have in here, particularly this uh, glass or windows on the house. I think we 
one more in here. There it is. And very important is to put the, uh, the reflection on this surface in here. You cannot see the water uh, at the moment, but uh, as soon as we switch on the effects, you'll see the, the puddles that I was talking about in the, in the beginning. We'll have reflections of everything, as you can see in here. These are the puddles of the water. We'll uh, need the reflections from it, of all the objects uh, behind it. So uh, don't forget to turn on the speed ray reflections. And we are done in here. Moving on to uh, hyperlight. Basically, we can uh, skip this one because it is already preset. And this one would be uh, more important if we were working with the interior. So at the moment, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we do uh, have to adjust the skylight a little bit. I'm going to bring the brightness up because of the diffused light and the saturation down. The colors are not so vibrant uh, during the cloudy day, so I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Turning on the uh, planar and projected reflections, and I'm going to keep the render quality on normal. Moving on to shadows. You can see the, the picture is still a little bit um, uh, reddish. We want to bring the coloring uh, towards the blue spectrum, somewhere around here, not all the way up, but as you can see, it is changing color already a little bit. And the brightness up as well. There are no strong shadows uh, with these diffuse lights, so we need to bring the brightness up and the omni shadow down a little bit somewhere around there. And turning on the soft and fine detail shadows on as well. So we're done in here. Moving on to uh, chromatic aberrations. Just to lower the dispersion a little bit, but this is not so visible as it would be during the sunny days. So just a little bit of that. Uh, next up is depth of field. Uh, obviously I want this foreground and the main portion of the house to be sharp. I'm gonna measure the distance to the corner of the house in here. And I will turn the autofocus, which will measure the distance from the house where I selected it. Here we have 11 meters. And I'm gonna keep the foreground sharp and the background slightly out of focus. I'm gonna move the amount of blur somewhere around here. And the foreground background slider somewhere around here towards the background. So as you can see, uh, the bougainvilleas, the flowers at the back, and the houses are a little bit out of focus already. So we're done in here. Let's just check, I'll double check the, the exposure, perhaps just a little bit up to give it a more diffuse light. There we go. And I think we are done uh, with the effects. Uh, we can proceed towards our render. And that's all for today guys, thanks for watching, stay well and stay creative.